Hello, my name is Bill and welcome to Mind Your Crypto. Today we have the top crypto gainer of today, almost, okay, there are many, but this status s and has been pumping over the last few hours, eventually, you can see plus 29% in just one hour, insane stuff from s and and of course, we are here on Mind Your Crypto to see the exact targets, if it is going to break out even more or not. I'm going to draw a very nice Fibonacci retracement. This time, what I'm going to do, it is simply I'm going to the weekly frame and I'm going to draw the Fib all the way from the top to the bottom. First of all, why did the S&T pump? Because we had, of course, a bullish RSI divergence into the weekly frame. These bullish RSI divergences are very strong patterns, and once you see them, you should be entering the market immediately. Look at that. Lower lows, higher lows in the RSI. S&T pumping more than 50% from the bottom, almost 100% and 20% and right now we are at exactly 100%. Right here we want to see if we can eventually go higher. At this point I want to remind you to join our monthly subscription Patreon slash Mind Your Crypto. You can find the link in the description box and in the comment section and you will get easy profits with the best crypto trading system ever made. Thank you. Let's go right here to point 1035.17 which is the most important resistance level. And you will ask me, Bill, we have gone past above it, right? Yeah, but we haven't closed above it yet. And what we need to do, it, it, it is in the daily frame to close above. If we close above the 0.103517 in the daily frame, then we are going massively towards the 0.10535 for sure, which is another 42% profit target. Amazing stuff going on. However, we have to say the risk, the potential risk that we are holding right now. And of course, it is the very huge risk in all the time frames. We have a very huge risk in the one hour frame, very huge risk in the four hour frame as well, RSI at 88. And of course, you can see the Komodo Tunnel Index. On the daily frame, we have a very huge risk as well. The RSI sits at 80. And this should be the thing that we need to watch out. Now, if we are going to close above the 0.1 or 35, we are going to ignore every single risk metric. Do not worry about that. Doesn't matter if we have 80, 85, 86 in the RSI. If we close above in the daily frame, I repeat that because it is very important, not in the four hour frame, not in the one hour frame, because in the four hour frame, we might be doing it in the one hour frame, we did it, right? But it doesn't matter in the one hour frame, such a lower time frames. So we need to see it in the daily frame. If you see the daily close above the point 1035.17 towards here is the next target and we are going to massively pump. Let's assume that we do not close above, right? And let's assume that s and had its moment, had its burst, and we are going to see some important support levels. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the Fibonacci from this bottom right here, and specifically this one on, on Saturday, 31 December, and we will see that we are having some nice support levels that we are going to retest, 0.310319, and of course the 0.102967, which will work out as a very huge support level for s &T. If we are going to go here, it is very possible that we can hold it. If we cannot hold it, then we are going down to the 0.102967, and we are going to see if we are going to have a good buying pressure around here or not. We will see about that. In the meantime, pay attention to one target. In the daily frame that we had, the 0.1031 something, or actually it was 35 or so, I'm not sure about that, but we have some support levels 0.1033, 19, 0.1029, are the support levels that you need to pay attention to in case we are going a little bit down. Okay, so be prepared for that, be prepared for a correction if we cannot hold the daily target that we talked about. Okay, you need to be a little bit careful as of now with the risk metrics and stuff like that. These pumps are not healthy pumps. I repeat that they are not healthy. That means whatever pumps so quickly, it is not likely that it won't correct quickly as well. I would prefer if s and would do a nice plus 10% in the one hour frame instead of a plus 29%. Okay, but 
That's what it is right now. Some people get benefits from it. They might have bought right here. And right now, they're ready to face the best outburst ever. Okay, I'm just joking. But it is one of the best outbursts I have seen in the one hour frame. Okay, but we have seen tons of outbursts. Uh, we have seen even 1000% in one hour. That's crypto market. Do not forget to join our monthly subscription. Thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic day and see you soon. Bye.